Good morning, good morning, good morning, warriors. Good morning, people of God. Come on in the room. Thank you for those of you that are already here. Uh, if you are here, good morning, good morning. Uh, if you are here, go ahead and hit that love button, that like button. Uh, let's go ahead and do as the banner says. Please like, love, tag, and share. Happy Friday to everyone. Good morning, good morning. Uh, let's take this time uh, to share the live. If you have not already shared, let's take this time to share the live. Let's also take this time to tag someone in, uh, maybe that you don't see. Of course, as I said before, I, I know that there are some different things that's happening with Facebook right now. Uh, and the more we hit that love button and like button, it opens up or it changes the algorithm uh, with Facebook. Uh, so that others can see that we are here and we are on. And so we're going to take about 30 seconds this morning as you come and greet one another, say hello to one another uh, in the presence of our God. Uh, another day that the Lord has made and we are rejoicing and we are absolutely uh, glad in it. Rejoicing in the Lord and blessing him, magnifying him, extolling him for another opportunity. Uh, to be in his presence uh, one more time. So let's take about maybe 20 more seconds on this morning. Glory to God. As you enter in, let's shift the atmosphere. As you enter in, uh, let's shift the atmosphere this morning uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, there is a word from the Lord that I do want to share with you, a very passage, uh, familiar uh, passage of scripture. Uh, just a reminder that the Lord dropped in my spirit uh, on yesterday. And I uh, do want to obey the Spirit of God and uh, drop this word uh, and drop this word uh, to you in the name of Jesus. So as we are doing that, good morning, everybody. Good morning. 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 This is just a reminder of what God has already uh, said to us. Uh, in the presence of the Lord. Uh, so good morning, Minister Iris. Good morning, Mother Graham. Good morning, um, Mother Anna Kettles. Uh, sis, good morning to you this morning. Uh, Leticia, good morning. Uh, Sister Clarice, good morning uh, to my spiritual goddaughter, uh, Michelle William Harris. Good morning to you. Uh, Elder Shelby, good morning. Uh, Elder Shavers, good morning. Uh, good morning, everybody. T. Len, my warrior. Uh, good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning, Nanny. Good morning. Tell my nut nut I say good morning, nut nut. Good morning. Good morning, Co Pastor Marilyn. Good morning to you. Good morning, little sis. Good morning, people of God. Renee Jones, good morning to you, sis. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, T. Lynn. Good morning. I'll say good morning to you, right, T. Lynn. Good morning, Trey. Good morning, Trey. Yoki, good morning. <coughs> I'm sorry, Sister Clarice. Uh, good morning to you. Good morning. If you have eyes and you're not saying anything, then I don't know that you're here. Uh, but good morning to those of you that are on Facebook. Good morning to those of you that are with us uh, via YouTube. Good morning, everybody. This is a wonderful day to be alive. Hallelujah. And this is an absolute wonderful day uh, to go after the things of God. And so we're going to go immediately into this word. I, I need to share just a little bit with you. And then we're going to go into intercession. Uh, as I was getting myself together for today, uh, the spirit of God uh, dropped this in my spirit as a reminder 
And understand this, that whenever God, God moves in seasons, right? And so knowing that God moves in seasons and in time, the Bible says to everything, there is a season. To everything, there is a season and a time under the heaven, which means that everything that does, God does, he does, he creates in season. When he created uh, the earth and uh, uh, the world and uh, he created man, uh, the Bible was very specific on how he did it. Uh, on the first day, on the second day, on the third day, the Bible says that on the sixth day, uh, God created man right in his image after his likeness. Uh, and he said, uh, it was good on the seventh day, watch this on the seventh day, God rested. But if we look deeper into that, God broke his rest. God broke his rest because he said, it is not good for man to be alone. I will make a help that's meet for him. And so what am I saying? God does things in seasons and in times. I'm going to go ahead and move this banner off of the, uh, off of the screen. Uh, we know what to do. Continue to hit that share button. Please hit that share button, love, like, tag, and uh, share. And so God is a God of season and a God of timing. Uh, uh, the crucial thing uh, to understand and to know is that many, many, many times, many times, uh, uh, it is very possible for us to miss the move of God and for us to miss the season in which we should be moving uh, because we are consumed with other things. We're not keen to the spirit of God or we're lazy and lackadaisical. And so we must be very careful uh, when God is speaking in a season because seasons change. Come on, somebody, talk to me this morning. Seasons change. Uh, the Bible says, uh, uh, I believe it was when Joseph was interpreting the dream, he said there will be seven years of adversity and seven years of plenty. And so we've got to know the season and the time that we are in. You can do the right thing in the wrong time and it still won't come to know why. Because the soil was not fertile enough to bring forth fruit off of what you did good in bad timing. And so it is crucial for the believer. It is crucial for those of us that are part of the kingdom to understand that Sedabashia, that Shemoko Rebabashia, that seasons don't last always. Seasons don't last always. Season, there are times, there are times, there are times, and there are there are seasons, right? And so uh, 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 we're going to Isaiah 43, 18 and 19. We're going there, but let me slip over really quick. Let me slip over really, really quick. To Ecclesiastes 3. To Ecclesiastes 3. All right. Ecclesiastes chapter number three, verse starting at verse number one. Uh, it says, to everything there is a season. To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven, which means we no longer have the privilege. And we've done this, right? We've done this for years and, and many times we've missed God and we've missed the timing of God. We've missed the move of God. Watch this. We've missed the move of God uh, simply because uh, of moving out of timing. When, when This is why it's so very important to move when God says move. Come on, move when God says move. When God is speaking and when God is a prophetically given utterance, uh, you, we've got to be sensitive to the spirit of God, not to say, well, I'll just obey God next week. Next week is not the timing of God. <coughs> Excuse me, right? Next week 
is not the timing of God. When God says to do something, then he means to do something then. And many times we look in the natural and because we are so used to being consumed by the lust of our flesh, by the pride of life, uh, uh, by the lust of our eyes, we are so used to being led forth by our flesh. We miss the move of God. And then we say, God never moved. Yes, he did move. You did not, you did not walk into the atmosphere while the water was troubled. Come on, talk to me here. Talk to my Mashiach. Talk to me here. And so as I was standing up this morning getting dressed, I clearly heard the spirit of the Lord say, tell my people not to make uh, their now a permanent residence. Come on. Somebody type that in the screen right there. Somebody type. I need y'all to wake up. I need you to wake up. Glory to God. No, do not. Do not make your now a permanent residence. Somebody type that. Do not make your now a permanent residence. Uh, and this is important. <clears throat> and I'm going to share with you. I'm going to I'm going to share with you uh, uh, why this is so very important, because even as believers hear me, global Bashiach. If you hear that Boshia, if you hear this word, glory to God, I promise you, I promise you, you're going to see, uh, uh, you're going to see the manifestation and you're going to see things that you've been waiting to happen for a long time. You're going to see the manifestation of the move of God in your life. Faith coming by hearing and hearing by the word of God, right? And so what has been happening, <clears throat> excuse me, what has been happening is that we have gotten so uh, 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 consumed and lazy as believers. We've gotten so uh, uh, in tune to our flesh and our, and our ear that we hear ourselves before we hear God. And I'm going to show you how. I'm going to show you how. Oh, my show. My show. Yes, Lord. Paul said, in Romans 7, he said, the things that I would do, those are the things that I don't, uh, uh, I find my, uh, those things, the things that I would do are the things that I don't do. And the things that I would not do, those are the things that I find myself doing. In other words, there is a real, real fight when it comes to hearing the spirit of God and dealing with your flesh. Talk to me here. Glory to God. I must be preaching to myself this morning. Listen, there is a there is a real, 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 real fight. And so things are happening uh, uh, so quickly. Uh, uh, I, I remember uh, during this week, the Lord said to tell my people that I am coming after the enemy that has come after them. Mashokia. I'm coming my Shokobaba. I'm coming at my Mashia. I'm coming after, I'm coming after everything that has come after my people. I'm coming to vindicate my people. This is where the problem comes in. God is vindicating. There is a rain falling from heaven. I want you to hear this this morning. There is a rain falling from heaven. There is provision falling from heaven. There is ways that are made. There is healing falling from heaven. But many times we are listening to the thoughts in our head. We are consumed and being controlled by the thoughts of our flesh, by the lust of the eye, by the lust of sight. Come on. And we have been regenerated. So because of being regenerated and born again, uh, that creates a warfare in our members, in our flesh. That's why Paul said to die daily. Go Bashia. Die daily. Can, can I just give you what God has given me? For many of us, come on, people of God, for many of us, we've got to put away our childish thinking. We've got to put away our childish mentality. We've got to put away having temper tantrums when we can't have it our way and grow up and walk in the things of God. Walk in the things of God, because guess what? Guess what? Good morning, woman of God. I don't care how many promises God gives. I don't care how many prophecies you get. I don't care 
how many uh, words you get and say, yeah, the Lord said, and the Lord said, I can sit here till I'm blue in the face and say what the Lord said he will do. And we know that the Bible says, I know the thoughts that I think toward you are thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end. But even with the promises of God, there are conditions. Even with the prophetic utterances of God, there are conditions. There are seasons and there are times. And then there is an acting of obedience. Come on. What what happens, what has happened is we've gotten so caught up in religion and religious acts <clears throat> and traditional antics until we feel like God is like a spiritual pimp or a spiritual Santa Claus just to give us, 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 give us. And there is no response. Okay, here we go again. There is no responsibility or accountability for our actions to receive what God has for us. And so one thing the Lord spoke to my spirit this morning, little sis, he said, tell my people to stop making their now a permanent residence. This is very important. How, what are you talking about, Pastor Lisa? Everything that God does is in seasons and in time. Somebody put that on there. It is in seasons and in times. 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 And many times when we miss that, that window of a season and we miss that window of a time, sometimes we got to wait another quarter of a century all over again to have that opportunity again. Watch this. To have that opportunity again again, to obey the spirit of God. Why is this so heavy on me? This is so heavy because we are living under, <coughs> excuse me, we are living under an open heaven of rain right now. Mama, my shobabokobashia. We are little We are living under an open heaven of rain right now. And some of us, I want you to hear me, hear this prophetic utterance. Some of us are being threatened, threatened not to make it because we refuse to walk in full obedience to God. When God requires obedience, he's not asking for obedience here or there or sometimes or when you feel like it or when it's comfortable. No, 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 no. Obedience is not comfortable. Somebody type that. Obedience. <coughs> Excuse me. Obedience is not at all comfortable. Obedience is sacrificial. Obedience hurts. Come on, y'all. Talk to me here. Who my shama? My God, I don't know about you. Obedience is absolutely sacrificial. Glory to God. And there are times, hear me, because I can listen, 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 uh, uh, listen. I can feel, I can sense it. Even as I go throughout my day, I can sense uh, how God is getting ready to rain on his people by way of prophetic provision. By way of sacrificial provision, God spoke to me. He said, I am moving for my people. My Kobashia, I my shabu, I am moving for my people. He said, but many of them have made their now as a permanent address. Come on, talk to me here. Have made how, how do you say that, Pastor Lisa? When you're moving into a place and you're making that place permanent, do things begin to settle, right? Things begin to settle. And so you don't really worry about moving it out of its place because that's a permanent place for that thing to be. And some of us are in a season. We're in a season of struggle. We're in a season of famine. We're in a season of lack. We're in a season of maybe not having everything that we want. We're in a season of sickness. But some of us have settled into that. Come on, I can, and, and, and you can always tell when a person has settled into something by the way that they talk and the conversation that they have. If you're talking to somebody and they're saying to you, well, you know, I, you know, I, I can't, I, you know, I'm on a fixed income and I just, that's, that's a permanent conversation for a temporary space. 
Come on, talk to me here, somebody. Lisa, preach. Are you pre you preaching? Go ahead and preach, girl. Listen, 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 listen. Because it takes faith for God to move. The Bible says, will I find faith on the earth? It takes faith for God to move. So it's not to say that God is not moving or that God has not moved, your word has already been released from the heaven. It takes an act of personal obedience to God. All right, so let me get to this. Let me get to this. To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to pluck up that, pluck up that which has been planted, a time to kill and a time to heal a time to break down, a time to build up, a time to weep, and a time to laugh, a time to mourn, and a time to dance, a time to cast away stones, and a time to gather stones together, a time to embrace, and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to get, and a time to lose, a time to keep, and a time to cast away, a time to rend, and a time to sow, uh, a time to keep in silence, and a time to speak. Last one, a time to love, and a time to hate, a time of war, and a time of peace. And so understanding that God moves in timing. And guess what? It is your time. God spoke to me this morning. He said, "It's it's the, the time has come. Robashia. The time I must show, the time I should, the time on the most, yeah, the time has come. Glory to God. No matter what it looks like, no matter what it seems like, no matter the hold up, no matter the process, no matter what it is, God said, I am releasing war angels on behalf of my people to go and get their word that has been caught up and that the manifestation of God will be made manifest in the last. Somebody should be shouting right there, should be made manifest in the lives of my people. But watch this. If we may, are now a permanent residence, when your word comes, your word has nowhere to function or flourish because God never speaks to our now. He speaks to our future. Uh-oh. Did somebody catch that this morning? Did somebody catch that? When God speaks, he speaks utterance over your, your future. What do you mean, Pastor Lisa? Every breath you take, you inhale, you exhale, becomes your future, and your present becomes your past. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Give your neighbor a spiritual high five and say, neighbor, let's get ready to move to the next. Let's get ready to move to the next. Let's get ready to move to the next. Let's get ready. Let's get ready to move to the next. And so some of us are not seeing uh, 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 the next that God has for us because we have made our now a permanent resident. Come on now. You can stay. I'll stay sick. I, you know, cause I'm, I got this and I got that and I got the other and, 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 and I don't have this and I don't have that. Listen, life and death is held <coughs> in the power of the tongue, right? It's held in the power of the tongue. And so you got to speak. Come on, y'all talk to me, wake up here. You got to speak into existence, set yourself in agreement with the word of God. And, and prepare for where you're going. Glory to God. Don't allow anything. Come on, and I'm prophesying already. Don't allow what you've been through, what has happened, <clears throat> the discouragement, uh, the sickness, what the doctor says. Uh-uh. It's time to pack up your stuff and move to your next. Come on here. Talk to somebody. I don't even know if Tyranny is on here, but type in the comment. It's time for me to move to my next. It's time to move to my next. It's time. Come on. It's time to move to our next because your every step you take, Lita, is stepping you up. Uh, it's putting you in position to get uh, uh, to meet destiny and purpose and to fulfill the promises of God in our lives. <coughs> You can't hang around the same old people and expect not to have the same mindset. 
you can't do it you can't do it if you're trying to change many times you've got to change your company come on you've got to change your company you've got to change who you allow in your personal space you've got to change your mindset this is why paul says paul said i die daily Paul says, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. If you want to, he said, think on these things. So that gives me to know, watch this, he left. That gives me to know that God is not going to come down and change our minds for us. He's not going to come down and change our mindset. This is the responsibility. He goes that word again. This is the responsibility of the believer. How does that happen? Through the word of God, through prayer, through fellowship and meditation. We've got to take off the old. Come on. Have you ever heard anybody say, well, that's just me. Take me for what I am. Take me. That's just me. I this a, no, 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 no. You can take you. I don't have to take you. I don't have to take you. My boundary says to me, I don't have to accept that about you in my personal space. Come on here. Come on. And God is trying to position us to declare He's trying to give us a different mindset to be prepared for the rain that's getting ready to hit our homes, to just getting ready to hit our lives. And so let's go here, Isaiah 43, 18 and 19, and I'm through. <clears throat> I pray we're getting this this morning. Y'all excuse me for coughing. Isaiah 43, 18 and 19, listen to the prophetic word. Listen to the prophet. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. There is a shit There is such a shifting in the atmosphere. My soul. My God. Oh, my God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. For many of you, I just heard the spirit of the Lord say, for many of you before this year, you're not going to have to wait until the end of the year. God said, I'm doing it now. It's almost going to be like Christmas in July. My God, Lord, if somebody believed that, y'all need to hit that heart button. Y'all need to be screaming amen. Y'all need to just be running around. I can't run around. But come on here. Come on. Set yourself in agreement with the word of God. Hallelujah. This is all a part of shifting our posture. Some of us, come on here. I can feel us. Some of us are still laying in the bed, laying against the bed, laying in the chair, halfway woke. Get yourself together. Give God this time his undivided attention. For those of you that are not at work or not, you know, uh, 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 in place, come on, shake yourself. Shake yourself. Because come 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, come 9 o'clock. Uh, uh, 12, you're going to be all over. Then you're going to be asking God, Lord, can you do this? And he's going to be saying, no, I can't do it. I was waiting for you. Nine o'clock, eight o'clock, seven o'clock this morning, six o'clock this morning. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, let's fix our posture in the presence of God. God has said it is befitting that the saints will pray. My shoma. It is befitting of all shit. It is befitting that the saints will pray. My shoma, God. Thank you, Father. Lord, listen, if y'all could feel what I feel, if you could see what I see, what's coming up the road, some of you will be screaming right now. Glory to God. Because the mouth of the Lord, because the mouth of the Lord, because the mouth of the Lord has spoken it in the name of Jesus. I prophesy to many of you right now that you will not be the same this time next month in Jesus' name. <clears throat> You will not be the same this time next month. I decree an uh, increase in your life. And not only increase in money, that's a part of it, but I decree in, in, increase in your skill, increase in your creativity that will make you money. My God, in the name of Jesus. I don't know who this is, but I'm seeing a young woman. I'm seeing, uh, I've seen. Uh, a young woman that you're getting ready to move into a home. You're getting ready to make that move into a home. I bless you right now in the name of Jesus. 
Hallelujah. The blessings of the Lord make it rich and add it no sorrow with it in Jesus' name. Again, I see those keys dangling. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Makoba Babasha. Yes, Lord. Yes, God. Yes, Labasho. Yes, Lord. Yes, God. Hallelujah. 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 Bless the name of Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. And I'm looking at one house. I don't know if it's, this is the new one or if this is something that someone has recently moved into. But there's like a small, uh, the entrance is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, and there's a lot of more land toward the back of the house than there is the front. Glory to God. And God said, this is significant to you to let you know that you're on target uh, the way that you have moved or the way that you're moving uh, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. I see all this grass and stuff around uh, the back, not weeds, just just areas where, or where kids, big enough for kids to run and place just a lot of space. Whereas in the front, you don't necessarily have, uh, have that uh, type of, you have the entrance, you have the, you know, the, the space in the front, but the back is the main place where, uh, where I'm seeing the majority of open space for the mouth of God has spoken. All right. Let me say this. And we're going to go on. Remember you not the form of things. Come on, talk to yourself and say, don't remember it. Don't remember it. Remember you not the form of things. And that word remember means to put into a permanent state of mind. That's what that word remember means. To, to have it fixated as a permanent fixture in your brain. <clears throat> remember ye not the former day. Stop putting so much clout on what happened. Stop putting so much clout on what happened. Well, this happened to me, and that happened to me. Oh, my God. And that happened to me, and that happened to me. Okay, that's a first Sunday in every month, which means you're not the only person that have experienced. The Bible says, for your brethren have experienced the same thing in the world you accomplished, you know, by your brethren. So get out of that mindset of I am a victim. You are not a victim. You are more than a conqueror to Jesus Christ. Come on here. Oh, my God. Listen, listen, listen. If some of you could only see, and I'm going to say this, and I'm, I'm going to go. If some of you can only see the position that God is getting ready to put us in, you're going to be smiling and not even know why you're smiling. God's getting ready to make us laugh. We don't even know why we're laughing. God's getting ready to make us just get tickled pain. We're not going to even know why. You know why? Because the thing that the enemy thought that he could use to destroy us is now getting ready to destroy him. Makobashia. Yes, Lord. Remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of old. Don't even consider it. Don't even consider it. I told you the other day, stop trying to go back and get it. No. The Bible says, behold, I will do a new thing, and now it shall spring forth. Now, in your now. My God, somebody say now. My season has changed now. My money is coming now. My healing for my body is now. I don't care if all the natural aspects of my life are totally contradictory <coughs> to the word of God. It does not make the promises of God null and void. Who shall I? I need y'all to get this. I, I need y'all to get this. 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 If I had the strength, I would just holler. If I had the strength, I'd just take off running. It's happening now. It's happening now. And so when things are happening now, let me help somebody. When things are happening now, guess what? God always speaks in the now toward our future. Come on here. And because he knows what's happening in the atmosphere, he speaks and requires obedience when he speaks. Oh, God. All right. I'm going to let that go. I'm going to let that go. I'm going to let that go. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness 
and rivers in the desert. God said, what, what you're going through, let, and let me help somebody, and I'm closing. What you're going through right now is a light thing. Come on, y'all. And I'm not saying it to make light of it. <clears throat> I'm saying in comparison to what God has for us, it's a light thing. You say, Pastor Lisa, don't feel like the word of God says it's a light thing. It's a light thing. But I prophesy to you this morning, please let him that have an ear, let him hear what the spirit of God is saying. Some of us hear the word and we just go on and log off and keep on going and don't even take time to meditate. Uh-uh. Don't even wait for the closing, really. Uh, we just we just gone. We just going on to the next. But in this season, God says, tell my people to stop making their temporary places or stop making their now their permanent home. It is not permanent. Come on, somebody type that in the comment. It is not permanent. It is not permanent. It is not permanent. It is not permanent. All right, let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus. <coughs> thank you, Lord. Excuse me. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you and we praise you. We honor you, God. We glorify you. I thank you for your people that are here. I thank you, God, for those that are watching via YouTube. I thank you right now in the name of Jesus, God, because you do all things well. I ask right now, Father, in Jesus' name, that you would have your way from the crown, God, of our heads to the sword of our feet. I thank you, Father, in Jesus' name, that where we are and what's happening now is absolutely uh, uh, temporary in the name of Jesus. Father, you told me to pray concerning your people. Here I am right now in Jesus' name. Touch the mindset of every person that is under the sound of my voice in Jesus' name. Touch the mindset in the name of Jesus. God, give us some move and obedience to your word. Father, when you are breaking and shaking through the atmosphere for our sake in the name of Jesus, God, we thank you that we are never alone. We thank you, Father, that you are forever with us us and that no weapon formed against us shall prosper in the name of Jesus. So Father, right now I decree complete wholeness and healness and strength over your people right now in the name of my Shoba. I thank you for my she. I thank you for my shiro. I thank you, Father. I thank you for everything that you have done, everything that you're doing. My God, in the name of Jesus. Now say unto the Lord God rebuke you. Your works are now canceled. The Lord rebuke you yesterday. I thank you right now, Father, in Jesus' name for complete healing concerning your people in the name of Jesus. Father, right now, touch as never before in Jesus' name. Touch right now. Set free. And Father, we thank you for your word because it is your word that comes and heals, that comes and cleanses, and it comes, God, to make whole in the name of Jesus. Now, Father, as we move in obedience so whatever it is you're speaking to us, God, I pray right now that the gates of hell right now will be destroyed, that the enemy will be bound, and that the gates of hell will be destroyed in the name of Jesus. I thank you in Jesus' name for prophetic provision and for prophetic deliverance concerning your people in Jesus' name. We thank you right now that it is so and that it is already done. Glory, Baba show my God, that it that it is already done in Jesus' name. We give you praise, we give you glory, and we give you honor in Jesus' name. Amen. Glory to God. Come on, let's hit that heart button in the presence of our God. We have a few minutes uh, left on this morning. Listen, people of God, I want you to hear my heart uh, as a prophet of God, as a prophet and midwife. This thing is just shaking my spirit. Is shaking my spirit so much so because there is a move that's happening and we don't want to miss it. And just like there's a move that's happening, you're going to see, pay attention to uh, uh, the weather. I said that. Pay attention to the signs of the time. But then there's also, in, in conjunction with that, there's also something else that's getting ready to hit the atmosphere. But God made us a promise that it shall be well with the righteous. 
Glory to God. And so this is why we sow. This is why we give. I say this every morning. I say this every morning. I say this every morning. This is why we see it into the word of God. We make that covenant with God. We make that sacrifice with him to say, Lord, no matter what, you are priority in my life. I trust your word. I'm seeding for my business. I'm seeding for my home. I'm seeding for my marriage. I'm seeding for my children. I'm seeding for my nephew. And nieces. I'm seeding. Glory to God in the name of Jesus. So this morning, listen, we're getting ready to seed into the word of God. Uh, this has been on me since last night. Last night. <laughs> this has been heavy on me since last night uh, because... I know that there is a move and I, you know, and, and all I can do as a mouthpiece of God is give it. All I can do as a mouthpiece of God is give it uh, and pray um, that we are receptive to it. All right. I'm praying that those of us that are on here, that we are receptive to what the spirit of God is saying. God is not always going to tell you, I'm going to give you a house. I'm going to give you a car. We know that we get that by the law of reciprocity. Right. There are instructions and times that God will give us instruction in Jesus. name. I saw that there was another mass shooting on yesterday. I saw you post that. Co-Pastor Marilyn. Things are happening everywhere, y'all. Uh, some of us need to just see for the protection of God to keep us. So listen, uh, those of you that are seeding, some of you are seeding towards your challenge seed. Uh, please, when you see towards your challenge seed, please put challenge seed in the comment. Please put challenge seed in the comment for a good record keeping. So that way I don't know on my end where that money goes for the challenge seed, right? Also, if you're giving uh, toward your pull out seed, if you're giving towards your 103, uh, that those of you that are giving 51, there are some of you that are giving 31. The Lord spoke to us concerning the seed of $51. Let's make good on our seed. Amen. I'm going to pray. And those of you that are moving this morning, wherever you're seeding, I want you to obey the spirit of the Lord on this morning. We have some things that are coming up. Uh, and so those things that are coming up, Pastor Lisa needs uh, us to sow to undergird something. We've been doing a lot, lot, lot. Uh, uh, but there are some things that are coming up, all right? In Jesus' name. So, Father, I thank you and I praise you. I honor you, Father, for your word. I thank you, God, for raising us up in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Father, for every person, a uh, God, that makes a commitment to sow. I thank you, Father, that as we make the commitment, we follow through. God, you said not to ever make a vow to the Lord and don't keep it. And so, Father, I thank you for every person on this live and on YouTube that will make the sacrifice to, uh, to seed into the word of God in the name of Jesus. I thank you right now. Now, Father, multiply your bashu. Father, you made promise to me. Father, you said that when I speak prophetically and your people respond, God, you said that you would bless them before I got back. My God, before I got back home, do it today in the name of Jesus. Bless supernaturally before I get back home in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you so much. Thank you. My God, I can just, I can just hear the heavens open. I hear rain. Glory to God. I thank you, Father, for provision. I thank you that the rain is falling in dead places. I thank you that the water has come, Father. Oh, my God, to water the seed and to soar in the name of Jesus. I give you glory this morning. Father, we receive. We receive of your kingdom. We receive this morning in Jesus' name. And because we receive, Father, by faith, we, we obey you in the name of Jesus. Listen, on this morning, there are those of you that can see $51. I want you to obey the spirit of the Lord this morning in Jesus' name. Uh, and, and Pastor Lisa is going to say this to you. And this is for those of you that don't believe. This is for the naysayers. This is for the witches and the warlocks. This is for those that, that want to know why. Listen, I have been preaching now for, oh, oh, it's been, it's been a long time. It's been a long time. 30, 40, almost 40 years. It's been a long time, right? It's been a very long time. Uh, and, uh, 
one thing that I've learned about God is, you know, in areas that we don't move, that we'll never be blessed. And so uh, don't, don't allow anybody to ever talk you out of giving and seeding into the thing. This is not about Pastor Lisa. I don't get paid for this, right? I've said that before. There are many of you that bless me. Thank you for blessing me. Thank you for being a blessing to my life. Thank you. It touches me. Uh, it affirms me. It encourages me. Uh, uh, but I, uh, this is an act of obedience to God. Thank you, Co-Pastor Marilyn, for paying your child and seed. Uh, this is an act of God. Uh, and so when we see it into the ministry, we're doing just that in Jesus' name, right? So I want you to move in obedience to the things of God. God deals with me concerning giving. It's just the way he deals with me. Uh, I'm a giver, and he deals with me concerning giving because I know that that's the only way that we're truly going to be blessed, right? In Jesus' name. So listen, those of you that are seating on this morning, whatever amount you're seating, just type done in the comment in Jesus' name. To sow your seed, the cash app is dollar sign promulgate. Uh, if you're giving me Venmo, uh, the Venmo is Lisa-Walton-39. Uh, if you're giving via Zelle, that's right, hit that heart button. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Come on, y'all, let's worship in our giving. Uh, to, to, uh, the Zelle is uh, lmwministries at email.com. Or you can simply go to the website, the website is www.lisamackeyenterprises.com. Amen. And that's our ways of giving uh, on this morning in Jesus' name. I don't believe we have uh, any announcements uh, other than we are going to be going into a two-night revival. Uh, the Lord spoke to me about that about a week ago. We're going into a two-night revival and I will have those dates uh, solidified uh, and uh, to give clarity to that uh, in just a few. All announcements are being posted to the Empowerment Survivors Facebook page. Please join the page and stay connected for all current information. Uh, also, please inbox Pastor Nancy for information on registration uh, with any prayer requests, with any questions or any concerns. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Uh, listen, continue to pray for Pastor Lisa, please. Please, 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 please pray. Please pray for Pastor Lisa. Uh, keep me covered in the blood. Uh, pray my strength in the Lord. Uh, in the name of Jesus, as uh, we complete uh, the assignment uh, that God has laid at my hand. Uh, we will be back on Monday morning at 7.45 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We will be back. Amen. Make it a safe weekend. Make it a blessed weekend. Please be aware that COVID is still here. Uh, I don't care how many people are not wear masks. COVID is still here. We're still in a pandemic. So let's be wise and wake up. Amen. In Jesus name. All right, guys. I think that's all of the announcements. I love you. I appreciate you. And if I haven't told you, I love you. I love you. I appreciate you. Those of you that are on YouTube, those of you that are here on Facebook, in Jesus' name. Make it a good one, and we'll see you Monday at 7.45 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Love you. Bye-bye.